Byron here. Well, anything you say, sir, of course. Uh, more drama, more thrills it is. <laughs> Three, two, and action. <laughs> Welcome to America Rocks Fashion. Byron Powell here in beautiful Stylesville to launch the season finale's adventure in fashion. Could this be any more exciting? Somewhere out there, in the heartland of America, a teen fashion designer waits to be discovered. It's Monday morning. Our two teams, rival fashion magazines, Your Thing and Bratz, set out today to find her. They'll visit three small towns, each team picking one girl per town. The teams have to get their chosen girls to New York by Saturday night, where the six contestants will model their own fashions in the America Rocks fashion show. To the winner, a contract with fashion designer Mucci Fiari and a pair of diamond go-go boots. Absolutely, positively priceless. And now, let's meet our teams. Our first team, Bratz Magazine. Everyone knows the girls with the passion for fashion. Chloe, Yasmin, Sasha and Jade. And the competing team, Your Thing Magazine. <laughs> Represented by Berdine Maxwell. Ah! Founder, president, editor-in-chief and the reigning queen of fashion. We'll be right back to start our fashion road trip. Well, that was perfectly dreadful. Nah, I thought it was slick. You're the man, Mr. Powell. Three minutes for commercial people. Let's pack it up. Get ready to move out. Oh, I hate road trips. Come on, Angel. This is gonna be a blast. Uh... I'm psyched. I've always wanted to see more of my country. Well, it's not the fairyland you're imagining, Cool Cat. It's a lot of greasy foods, wide open spaces, and small towns. Not good for someone with agoraphobia like me. Small towns are quaint, Chloe. Uh, quaint? Don't you know what happens on the open road? Don't you know? One minute. Places, everyone. Ladies, it's time to board your vehicle. On my signal, you start your engine and roll out. Got it, Byron. Angel? Your turn to drive first. Great tell. What happens on the open road, Chloe? Oh, you know. Alien encounters, that guy with the hook who tries to get in your car, that cute stray dog that turns out to really be a rat, the headless horseman! Uh, doesn't he live in Connecticut? Get a hold of yourself, drama mama. Whoa! Don't worry about her, Byron. She's talking nonsense. Alien encounters, you say? Seems absolutely, positively exciting to me. 30 seconds, let's go! Well, bon voyage! I'll catch up with you at the first town. A rustic road trip. No cell phones allowed, no GPS, just a map. Ooh, thrilling! Start your engines, ladies! designer. Until then, this is Byron Powell rocking America's fashion scene.
not even close. Oh, ow, my legs are asleep. Bunny Boo, you drooled on me. Oh, sorry. So why couldn't Byron fly us across country? I forget. Oh, the things we do for Byron. Where's your sense of adventure, people? Road trips are the best. You never know what's around the next corner. Yo, Chloe, when can we break out those cookies you baked? Uh, Chloe, you asleep at the wheel? Huh? Oh, sorry, pretty princess. What'd you say? Cookies! We want your cookies! Sorry, not until the next border. Over. I swear I'll do better! I saw an hour ago. A hitchhiker? Poor thing. Maybe we should pick them up. Are you out of your mind? You can't pick up hitchhikers. They could be psychopathic maniacs. You never talk to strangers. You never take a ride from a stranger. And you never, ever, ever pick up a hitchhiker. Yeah, Yasmin, what are you thinking? And did you see that hitchhiker? I didn't see anyone. Neither did I. I'm telling you guys, it was the same guy. I think we need a rest stop. I'm not crazy! Let's pull over at the next stop. Don't worry, Mr. Steele. The show is guaranteed to be an absolute hit. Everything's coming along swimmingly. The season finale this Saturday is going to have some real surprises. <laughs> Well, here we are. I never thought I'd make it. The giant blow dryer. to the restroom. I hope they at least have seat protectors. Ah! Guys, guys! What is it, Angel? I saw him over there by the restrooms. Who? The hitchhiker. Let's see. It's really hot out, Chloe. No, Jade, you don't understand. He was there. <laughs> we believe you. You should have come. The hot tub was great. Yes, I think I'll go enjoy it now. <laughs> Chloe, you're not still mad at us, are you? No, not mad. Unless you mean mad as in crazy, bats, nuts, loony, off her rocker. Oh. 
Oh, I'm being silly. Maybe my BFFs are right. I'm just imagining things. really weird ever since last night. When she came back from the hot tub. No more driving for her. First town, Rockwater Springs. Several girls from this charming rustic town have modeled their fashions for us, but which of them will Bratz and your thing choose to continue on across the country to New York with them? Like, I can't even believe she won't let us be on TV with her. Yeah, we should be in the fashion show. We're doing all the work and some no-talent girl is gonna get all the credit. And now for the moment we've been waiting for. Bratz Magazine? Our pick from Rockwater Springs is Mandy Pickett! I am so happy! <laughs> Look at that radio reject. Whatever. Mandy is wearing a darling outfit she designed in high school in Richmond class. It's absolutely, positively fabulous. She loves horses, children, and most of all, wants to help others. Ah, let's give it up for Mandy! Look at that trash they picked out. She doesn't stand a chance. And now for your thing's first contestant. Who have you selected from Rockwater Springs? Christy Baker! Come on down! wearing something like that. Like, no style at all. Christy Baker knew from the moment she was born she was going to take over the fashion world with her totally chic designs. Pink is her signature colour, and she can't wait to enlighten the world with her fashion point of view. She's gotta be kidding. It's another Tweevil. Now, they're Threevils. Excited that y'all pick me? It's a dream come true! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> you can stop thanking us, Mandy. You deserve it. Your fashions are really cool. Yeah, you have a great style. Uh-oh, detour. Rebels. <laughs> Look at this shack. A real beaver board palace. Well, let's hope they have something edible. That contestant of theirs makes them the triplets of Tackyville. Oh, y'all mean Christy. I'm sure she's a very, very nice girl. 
That's very generous of you. Well, Chloe, I only like to say nice things about other folks. Come on, y'all. Let's grub. <gasps> Where's the square dance? Like when's the hayride? Wouldn't want to miss it. How's it going, ladies? Fine, ma'am. Excuse me, madame, and where would be your toilet? Ah, oh, our house out back. <gasps> Y'all, I think I'm gonna go powder my nose. Bubble brain? That's the outhouse! She's in there! This is our chance to get rid of her! Get rid of her? Yeah! Then Burdine will have to put us in the show! Hey, good idea! How do we do it? Come on! You girls all alone out there on the road? Yes, ma'am. Well, whatever you do, don't pick up any strangers. Especially with hats. Hats? What's wrong with hats? Hey, Chloe, didn't your hitchhiker have a hat? You see, there's an old legend in these parts. Maybe it's not a legend after all. Maybe it's true. Well, what is it? Old cowboy named Foul Mouthed Foley. He mouthed off too many times. Finally had a showdown. Caught a bullet right in the kisser. Lost his jaw. You mean he doesn't have a mouth? Yuck! He's got no soul, neither. His spirit has to wander forever. In bitter silence between the winds. Now his ghost roams these parts, trying to catch a ride out of here. You haven't seen him, have you? Because once you do, why, he'll haunt you. <gasps> Forever! Could it be? No way. Just a tall tale. What'll it be, Pinky? Do you have a green salad? Green? When you dream, you dream big, don't you? <laughs> Here. <laughs> where have you been? Oh, uh, where's Chris? Kiss? Kiss? Where's Kirk? Christy. Oh, she wanted us to tell you she got homesick and caught a bus. <laughs> Mandy's been gone for a long time. We better go find her. Help! Okay, guys, what was that? Oh my gosh, I think he's got Mandy. Who? Ah! What y'all doing? <sighs> oh, Mandy! Don't do that. What, y'all? I was just using the lavatory. Why are the lights out? They couldn't have closed. We didn't... <gasps> Run! Move, people! 
Should we warn Verdine? Just drive! Really? She went home. Nonsense! What's with these country fashions? Everyone's into hats and veils out here. <laughs> there you are, Kiss. Crispy. I know you didn't go home. Oh, quel terrible. Oh la la. That waitress tried to kill me with an axe. Yeah, well, she tried to kill me with french fries. Now get in the truck. Sorry we didn't believe you, Chloe. Guys, this is just like every story I've heard about creepy trips on the open road. It's all coming true. I want to go home. <laughs> Mandy, don't be afraid. We'll protect you from foul mouth Foley. It's just all my dreams. Y'all aren't really going to quit, are you? Oh, my gosh, of course not. I'm so sorry, Mandy. I got so wrapped up in my own phobias, I was only thinking of myself. We're gonna get you to New York, and you're gonna enter that contest, and you are going to be fabulous. <laughs> Thanks, gals. model your fashions for you? I mean, you don't want to be on TV. Yeah, I mean, aren't you embarrassed? Oh, zut alors. Embarrassed by what? Well, your looks and your outfit. Our fashions would be, like, so much better. My looks? What about all y'all's looks? Y'all all have to buy four tickets on jet plane to fit your bad boom behinds in the seats. <gasps> and your clothes? Why y'all all dress like a pair of rodeo clowns. Why, well, look at you! You need a band-aid to keep your snout pants to your puss. Crispy! Cutesy! Crispy! I'll give you something pants to your puss! Horrible twits. Back in your seats. For. Any fool can change a tire. That is it. Ah, you just... Ah, 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 cookie! Oh. Cookie! Ah, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> change it. Ooh la la. Do I look like one of my daddy's ranch hands to you? I don't change tires. I just know it's a cinch, that's all. But this is an emergency and you work for me, Crispy. I'll work for you, Granny. <gasps> oh, you want to be in that contest? Change that tire. Hey, like, no fair. Cell phones are.
are against the rules. She'll get us disqualified. Big Daddy, it's Princess. Come get me. Princess. Oh, your mama's got a hot bath and some of her sweet boat tater pie waiting for you back at the ranch. You are back with cream? Well, of course I'm back with cream, my little buttercup. I want a big daddy. <laughs> I want my daddy. <laughs> We're here at Mount Middleton where the Bratz have elected their second team fashion designer. She will continue on to New York City to compete in the America Rocks Fashion Show. Isn't she fabulous? And can you tell Tiffany's not a stranger to performing? She gives amateur magic shows at the local nursing home. Her speciality is sleight of hand. Too bad the competition, Your Thing magazine, hasn't shown up. Hey, people! I can't find the keys! Did I give them to any of you? How's it going, ladies? I don't have them, but... Oh, my gosh! My wallet isn't here! Ah! My money is gone and my camera! And my shampoo? Oh, no! My wallet is gone, and my Kiwi Lime hair conditioner! Weird. Huh? Oh, no! <gasps> Yo! My wallet is gone, too! And my hand lotion! Oh, okay. My gamblers gave me that wallet! <gasps> Good luck! This is terrible. Oh, you poor things. Tiffany, I believe something's leaking from your backpack. Uh-oh. That's funny. I can smell my conditioner. What? I... You use the same conditioner I use. Is that my wallet? What is this doing in here? Indeed. The wallet my gamers gave me! Wait a second. I don't understand this. I understand perfectly. Amateur magician, sleight of hand. I guess you've been putting your skills into practice. What? Ladies, she's a pickpocket. <gasps> no, I am not. I didn't. I, I would never. I... You guys, this can't be happening. <laughs> you can't do this to me. I swear I didn't do it. And there we are. Bratz Magazine has lost its second contestant, and your thing didn't even arrive to collect theirs. Things are getting pretty interesting. Tune in tomorrow for America Rocks Fashion. A bit tardy, wouldn't you say, Miss Maxwell? Someone put nails in our tire. We were sabotaged. It's those brats! We didn't! <laughs> Paranoia. Sounds like an ordinary road trip mishap to me, but, well, rules are rules and you've missed town number two and your second candidate. What? Oh, that's outrageous! I need my second girl, that kiss, 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 cootie, cook, ah, turned out to be a complete flake. Walk down on us. You don't say. Well, I guess you know how to pick them. Cameras up! I'm ready to roll. Then you can roll right out of here onto town number three. And this time, try to be on time. <laughs> You'll be sorry, you brats! Too bad that wasn't on camera. 
that woman is absolutely, positively impossible. Jade. Wow, this is real farmland. Cornfields? I hate cornfields. Why? You know, aliens like cornfields. They're really drawn to them. Chloe, don't start. Lost. I haven't seen a road sign for miles. This road doesn't seem right. Ha! Those brats have a surprise coming to them. <laughs> oh, at last, some peace. <gasps> what the? In the name of all that is pink, the brakes don't work! spent her first night in the truck. At least she's sleeping. I don't think I slept a wink. Oh no, look where we are. There could be aliens all around us, closing in. Ugh, come on, Angel. Aliens? Hey, she was right about the hitchhiker, Sasha. What was that? It's coming from over there. <laughs> Maybe it's a friendly farmer. Sasha. These are my friends Chloe, Yasmin, and Jade. Uh -oh. And this is Mandy. Oh <gasps> my goodness! You're you're from Bratz magazine! And and you're on America Rocks Fashion! Cool, you know our show. I <laughs> I never miss it. Hey, this is the best dressed scarecrow I've ever seen. Where can I get an outfit like that? I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, that t-shirt rocks. Really? You really think so? Hey, I know so, sister. Fashion's my thing. Is the store around here? I've got to have that outfit. Store? Oh, no. There's nowhere to shop around here. That's why I... I, um... Wait a minute. You made this outfit, didn't you? Wicked cool! That's super styling. Oh, it's really nothing. I just put on some sequins and stuff. That rocks! I think we should probably hit the road. Maybe y'all can tell us how to get out of this cornfield. Wait a sec, Mandy. What's your name? Sh Sheridan. Is this your corn? Oh, no. I come out here because, um, well, my parents think this is kind of silly. 
What? That's nuts. You could be a real designer. Your fashions would be a massive hit. People, are we having a cosmic thought convergence? Yep. You're thinking we just found our second contestant. Byron here. Sasha, where are you? Old Plainsville? Well, I don't know. That's a bit unorthodox. 30 seconds, Mr. Powell. Look, okay, I've got to go on air now. I'll catch up with you ladies later. Welcome back to America Rocks Fashion. Byron Powell here in lovely, picturesque Grayton Place. But I'm here alone. <gasps> Bratz Magazine took a wrong turn to Old Plainsville and your thing magazine has gone, well, completely and utterly missing. Who knows where they could be? Show. Gosh, if we hadn't found Sheridan, Mandy would be the only contestant in the show. Well, that wouldn't be any fun, would it? Oh, honey, oh, you didn't tell me the girls' service league was pulling up here this afternoon. Oh, sorry. Well, I, I better get my engine started and bake some cake. Oh, heavens to Betsy, what a convention. Uh, can I get anyone a soda? I'd love one, Mr. Jones. Be, uh, back in a jiffy. Hey, sister, why didn't you tell them about the contest? Oh, girls, I'm, I'm so sorry, but couldn't one of you take my fashions and model them for me? No one wants to see me up on a catwalk. I mean, look at me. Besides, my parents would never let me do something so crazy. Oh, but Sheridan, I'm super excited about modeling my fashion's own live TV in front of the entire nation, aren't y'all? They're your fashions. You've got to model them with pride. With millions of folks watching. Yeah, girlfriend! People, sounds like our girl here needs a confidence adjustment. Makeover! Shining like real diamonds. You got a style your very own. Don't be afraid to let it show. Come on, express yourself the way that you feel. Be who you are, cause you glow like a star. Spread it, but it's working, cause you got it going on. Time to take control. Oh. Look at what can you go. Oh. Believe it in yourself. Oh. And everyone can tell the show. Shining like real See, what is the meaning of this? But, but, oh, but Dad. Sure, but, 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 Mom. But nothing, young lady. You go to your room. Oh. <laughs> Watch it, Missy. You can't take your card out once it's touched the pond. Yeah, Kirstie, quit cheating. My fish ain't your fish. I win oh. again. Where's that girl and her cell phone? Good riddance. Who needs her? You can use us as contestants. You don't have anyone else. And besides, we're cute and sassy on a runway. There is absolutely nothing cute or sassy about you two dopey girls. Aw, oh, come on, we changed your tire. <laughs> wow, the cow's hair can't fly. <gasps> what? 
in the name of pink? doesn't win. Think how exciting it will be. Oh, excitement can be overrated. But, Dad, I really want to go. Who cares if I win? At least I tried. Well, Mrs. Jones, I didn't want to come on this road trip, but I wouldn't have missed it for the world. And I mean, if we hadn't made a wrong turn, we never would have met Sheridan. And we're really, really glad we met you, Sheridan. You rock. And Mrs. Jones, her fashions are really cutting edge. But, dear. You don't really want to go to, to, to New York City and, and stand on your head in front of all those people? Oh, heavens to Betsy, it sounds perfectly terrifying to me. Your father and I just don't want you to race off in big dreams and, and end up with a flat tire. Sheridan, where did you get those clothes? I made them last night. Oh, what do you think? Wow! Totally glam! Not bad. But, Sheridan, I have to say, I kind of like your other fashions. But these are more professional looking. More, I don't know, like a real fashion designer. <laughs> but you are a real fashion designer. No, not really. Not yet. Well, it's your decision what you want to model. I mean, if your parents decide to let you go. But we should hit the road. We've got to make it to New York by tonight. Don't worry, we'll get you there. Are y'all sure you want to do that? I mean, her folks sure haven't said she could go yet. Try to think positive, Mandy. They've got to let her go. Well, it's just... What? I wouldn't want her to be embarrassed to know. I mean, she's not really model material, if you know what I mean. Just wouldn't want y'all's magazine to be made of fool of. Well, each person has their own style, Mandy. It doesn't have to appeal to everyone. That's what fashion is all about, taking risks and expressing yourself no matter what anyone else thinks. What's with her? Yeah, the girl who never says anything bad about folks. Sure had a lot to say. Oh, don't worry, darling. We trust you. You can go to New York City. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Heavens to Betsy. You'll be careful on the road with my baby, won't you, girls? Of course, Mr. Jones. Who's Betsy? What was that? Tiffany for being a klepto. A conditioner klepto. 
And she probably put the nail in Bertine's tire. What a ruthless cutthroat. I mean, it's nice to have ambitions, but that's just out of hand. Well, heavens to Betsy, this is just the sort of ugliness we have been trying to keep you from. Two-facers and con artists. Yes, but... What is it, hon? Oh, nothing, nothing. But, Dad... You know, you get big expectations, then everyone and everything lets you down. <gasps> Dad, what is it? Your car, it runs. It always has. Now, I was an excellent mechanic back in my youth. I loved me a good road rally, but I was too afraid of the risks. And now, you see, I miss that feeling of not knowing what's around the next corner. Now, there might be disappointments, honey, but there's no sense in pulling the car over before you even get started. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, uh, don't forget this, honey. Oh, thank you so much, Dad. So, people, what's the plan? We're going to get Sheridan's fashions back from Mandy and tell Byron she's a car thief and a saboteur. Ghost. He'll never leave me alone. He'll haunt my nightmares. I'll never get away. He'll follow me all my life. Well, what are you doing? I'm tired of being afraid. I'm not letting him destroy me. She's totally lost her mind. Chloe, wait! You there! Foul mouth folly! I want to talk to you. Let's get him! Pull him down! Don't take his scarf off! I don't think he's a ghost! Blast! Get off me, you, you lunatic girls! He talks! He sounds like... <sighs> Ladies, that was stellar, Mr. Powell. Are you all right, Mr. Powell? She took you down like a middle linebacker. What is going on, Byron? I needed something to make the show more exciting, so I've been filming yours and Vadim's exciting encounters on the road with ghosts, aliens, hitchhikers, America's urban legends and the like. It's going to air in the season finale tonight. <gasps> Gosh, that's like really low, Mr. Powell. The idea! You used us! So, the diner? <laughs> yes, I was Dot. And I thought she just had a facial hair problem. Oh, the betrayal! I thought we were friends! You were my role model! We trusted you! How could you do this to us? We've always come through for you. 
Ladies, ladies, calm down. This is some of the best reality footage man will ever see. <laughs> I mean, the look on Chloe's face when Dot, I mean, I, <laughs> told you the legend of foul mouthed Foley. <laughs> what? You can't put that on TV tonight. I'll look like a fool. Mr. Powell, we've got to leave for New York City. I'll see you at the show, ladies. Cheerio! How could Byron treat us like this? Does this mean you guys are giving up? What? No way! Come on, we've got a show to make! Supermodels. Open our door! Mr. Powell? Mr. Powell? And now, the highlight of our show, the America Rocks Teen Fashion Designer Contest! Our first contestants, representing Your Thing magazine, are ready to make their splash into the fashion world. Please welcome Kirsty and Casey! Well, you're mad. I am the alien leader. Oh, you! I knew it! It makes sense. I always knew there was something inhuman about you. You see, it was all a prank. It's him! He's the alien leader! Everybody run! It's only a matter of time. What's with Von Dean? The president, although he need backup. The army. Oh, my poor little royale. He hasn't even lived so long. Oh, but there's no escape. Sorry, ladies. The show has started. But we're in that show. Where are Bratz Magazine? Bratz Magazine's already here. What? Run for your lives! The aliens are here! It's him! Everybody run! Come on! <laughs> We've just seen Mucci Fiari's new fall line. Ooh, wasn't it absolutely positively glorious? And now, before we break for intermission, we'll bring out our third contestant in our team fashion designer competition. How did Verdine find three contestants? Representing Bratz Magazine. Huh? All the way from Rockwater Springs, the lovely and delightful Mandy Pickett. I was worried you wouldn't make it. Smart of you to send your girl ahead. Byron, Mandy saw our 
truck and Sheridan's fashions. You've got to disqualify her. Disqualify her? But she's your only contestant. Mandy is not our contestant. Sheridan is our contestant. And Mandy is wearing Sheridan's designs. Who is Sheridan? I'm Sheridan. Huh? She's our contestant from Old Plainsville. But Old Plainsville wasn't one of the official towns. You know the rules. Oh, you want to talk about the rules? Well, what about Foulmouthed Foley? Is he in the rule book? Well, yes, you've got a point. All right, go ahead and enter her. The show starts up again in 20 minutes. Break a leg, ladies. We only have 20 minutes to design some clothes. What? I can't design clothes in 20 minutes. Listen, what's wrong with what you're wearing? Yeah, that's the outfit we fell in love with when we met you. But it's so much more unique and original than what Mandy stole. It's you, Sheridan. That's what you need to show the world. Can't you take our clothes and do the same thing with them? You've got your design kit. Ladies, let's get to work. It's design time. You've just got to hang on. with America Rocks fashion. Will Mandy walk away in the diamond go-go boots, the contest prize? But wait, uh -huh. we have one more contestant. She's a surprise entry from Old Plainsville. Girls, I don't think I can do it. Maybe Mandy is right. I don't have that special something. Everyone has that special something. It's just a matter of bringing it out. I mean, look at you. You're totally styling. This is for you, Sheridan. For good luck and for being so brave. Oh, thank you. So, everyone welcome, Sheridan Jones! Just get out there and express yourself, girl! Uh. You've got it, something like no one else. You can tell that you've got you sparkle, the way that you shine Got the look, attitude, this and you got the style The style, it shows The way you talk, what you do And the way that you smile You should know Absolutely, utterly amazing. The calling votes for Sheridan are flooding in. With ten seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Design competition. Join us at the end of our show when she'll model the diamond go go boots. Uh, there you are, Mr. Powell. The diamond go go boots are all yours. Brilliant. Let him go. 
go barefoot. Uh, uh, Mr. Powell, wh what happened? Help! Uh, someone, we need a doctor. Wh what's going on? <gasps> Byron! The boots. Can you understand him? What's he saying? The boots. The boots. Oh, she took the boots. <sighs> <gasps> Mandy! Wait, wait. I'm sorry. For everything. I was under pressure from the head of the network. I was... I was wrong. I won't use the footage. Can you forgive me? Sure, Byron, but we've got some boots to get back. Stop her! She's got the diamond boots! Follow those girls! This will be the most exciting footage of the season! Ladies, talk about great reality footage. 
an utterly, extremely thrilling ending to our America Rocks fashion road trip. Byron Powell here, headed for hospital. Go, Byron! Woohoo! Not bad, eh, ladies? You were great! Well, it gets better. Moochie Fiari has just asked me for a little favour. He wanted to know if I'd use my persuasion to get you ladies to agree to model his new winter line for a photo spread. Well, what do you say? Positively fabulous news! Well, thanks to your exciting pursuit of Miss Mandy, our season finale was the most successful reality show on air. The network wants to do a whole new season! That's fantastic, Byron! Sheridan's next show. Bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Ladies. What are we seeing today, Byron? It's our last afternoon, and there's only one thing we haven't covered in New York City. 